Hey Jay, I'm about to head to class. Have you seen this post on Instagram about how masks don't stop COVID? Hey Eric, yeah, but I don't know if that's true. Who wrote the post? I really don't know, but they have some good charts and say they are a doctor. Why would they lie? Well, even if they are a doctor, the experts don't agree with that. Plus, the other people who have experienced loved ones passing from COVID. Wearing a mask is kind of a big deal, considering how contagious the virus is. Do you actually believe this virus is real? I've heard this is some type of conspiracy. I don't even know who to trust anymore. Do you? I actually do. Whenever I look up accurate information sources, I look for the Center for Disease Control and Prevention and the Georgia Department of Public Health. Both sources provide the most accurate details regarding COVID-19. Part of the reason you don't take coronavirus precautions seriously is because of the misinformation that is spreading rapidly. And your point is? If you keep up with the sites and you pay attention to your sources of information, you can find the best way to protect yourself and stop the spread of the coronavirus. I mean, I guess you're right. I know I'm right. I kind of overreacted. I'll be more careful about who I trust and post. Awesome. I'll see you in class. Don't forget to wear your mask. Hi, my name is Jordan Easterling. You just heard a conversation between my friends Eric Stout and Jamila Asker. We're students in the School of Public Health at Georgia State University. Right now, because of social media, there are not only a pandemic going on, there's also an infodemic. According to the World Health Organization, an infodemic is an overabundance of information, some accurate and some not. That makes it hard for people to find trustworthy sources and reliable guidance when they need it. People are sending out inaccurate information from inaccurate sources that are spreading faster than the virus. Just in the last 30 days, there were more than 360 million videos, 550 million tweets, and 19,000 new articles related to COVID-19. In general, federal, state, and local public health agencies have reliable and trustworthy sources of information that can help you understand the pandemic and identify the best ways to protect yourself and your community. Here are some steps you can take to find trustworthy information and avoid sharing misinformation. One, consider the source of information. Is there an author? Has the author written about this topic before? Would you consider the author an expert? Two, read beyond the headline. Headlines might not be telling the whole story and may be used to get people to click on something. Three, do others agree? Are there other sources citing the same information? Do they also share similar links or websites? Four, does it sound too good to be true or is it a joke? If it seems too good or strange, it might not be true. Five, ask the experts. Consult an expert or trusted website. Six, don't share or post things you haven't checked out first. That only helps to contribute to the infodemic. For further more accurate information, check out the Center for Disease Control and Prevention at cdc.gov or the Georgia Department of Public Health at dph.georgia.gov. Let's work together and put an end to this global pandemic.